You might be wondering what I'm doing with this crown. Well, today's episode is all about the Mrs. Exquisite New Zealand 2023 pageant. Welcome to another episode of Showcase on Sevens TV. Now let's get to meet some of the title winners and the person who's going to be wearing this crown. Now I'm here with the person who's instrumental in putting this amazing event completely through. Rosemary, hi, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. So this event would have taken a lot of time and effort and commitment to put through. What would you say was your most favorite part or the most satisfying moment of this pageant? That would have been working with the children. They were so easy to work with and they were amazing. So were the mums. The mums were really, um, they took the time to come and support, the time to come for the practice sessions. So yeah, that was the best moments for me. And this pageant, you dealt with a lot of people with different age groups, you know, from the adults to the little children. So how was that experience? Uh, I wouldn't do the same, the same way again because it was actually full on. So I would, next year, I would separate the moms on a different month and then do the children on a different month. And that will make it a lot easier to take the load off the moms as well, because they had to dress themselves up as well as dress the kids. So that was a bit challenging for everyone. So would you say that was the most challenging aspect of this pageant? Yes, that was the only negative thing I can say about that pageant. Other than that, it was amazing. And it turned out amazing as well, like visually and just everything, it was very beautiful. Yes, it was very colourful mm -hmm. and the fact that we had different nationalities representing, that was awesome because all the ladies came in the bright traditional way and that, that was really beautiful to watch. Different ethnicities, different nationalities, different outfits and it all blended all really well together. Yes, it did. So you did an amazing job with that. <laughs> Well, the ladies did all the work, to be honest, also because true. I just put the, the categories out there and I said, ladies, this is what we want to do. And uh, they were really supportive and they, they came up with some amazing ideas. They were all very passionate in what they did and it was very much visible on stage as well. Yes, they were. They were really good. I mean, we introduced black sacks as well, big black sacks, which is just a rubbish bag outfit. And that surprised me a lot because the ladies came up with some super cool outfits that I wouldn't have thought of. <laughs> <laughs> so their creativity was also shown in this pageant? Yes, it was. Amazing. So what would you say was the most satisfying moment in this entire pageant? I think achieving it to, at the end, uh, all the support I had was the most satisfying thing for me. Plus I had a lot of support from all my sponsors, so, which I'm very grateful for. Since this was your first pageant, what was the one key thing that you would keep in mind while doing future pageants or future shows? To be honest, the first thing I would change is having the moms and the kids on the same event. Beside that, the other thing was I would provide more food for the kids <laughs> because the day was super long and our caterer came late, so that was a problem. So I would fix some, some small little things that didn't work out the way I wanted them to. So happy kids, happy show. Yes. <laughs> so how did you feel when the title winners for the different categories were being crowned? Oh, I think I had a tear or two because it was so exciting and overwhelming. It was just too beautiful to watch those ladies appreciating their crowns. Mm -hmm. So I really love that part of it. And the little kids, I mean, most of them didn't expect to win anything, to be honest, but I made sure everybody deserves something because my motto is we all deserve a crown absolutely and everyone's special in their own way yes. so that's amazing so what are your future goals and aspirations in the pageant world oh i'm so excited about having another one next year and i want to do it every year so next one i'll have more experience and i'll take it to a different event a venue should i say but um i am looking forward to next year well, so are we. Now I'm excited to meet some of the title winners. Yes, uh, today I came with our queen, mm -hmm. Dipti, uh, Mrs. Exquisite 2023, first one to have this crown. So she'll always be the one remembered to be the first and only Mrs. Exquisite, although there'll be more to come, but she will be always the first, the first one. one. And then we also have our little mister and our little missus. So we have those that will also be um, holding those titles for a very long time. Well, I'm excited and can't wait to meet them. I'm here with Little Mr. Exquisite New Zealand 2023 from the age groups 3 to 8, Mr. Chiron. Hi. Hi. 
So how does it feel being little Mr. Exquisite New Zealand? Very, very excited and happy. <laughs> did you think you'd win this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love that confidence. How did it feel winning the title? So, so excited. <laughs> so in this entire process, did, what, what was your most favorite enjoyable thing? Enjoyable thing? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. My favorite one is the first round. What was in the first round? The All Blacks. The All Blacks? We wear black. Oh, okay. So I wear the hat with my name on it. You wore a hat with your name on it? Yeah. That is so cool. I wish I had a hat with my name on it. Did you feel special when you put a hat with your name on it? Yeah. Mm hmm everyone knows my name. Yeah, that is true. Everyone will know your name. Also, now that you're the winner, everyone will definitely know your name. Yeah. Yeah? Do you like the crown as well? Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> You look very nice. I love your entire outfit. Do you like it? Yeah. You like dressing up? Yes. Mm hmm So what was your most favorite part in the entire pageant? Um, my favorite part is the second round. So what was the second round? Um, we use clothes with our, our country and we do poses with our country. <gasps> That's so cool. Did you enjoy posing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you make a lot of friends? Were there a lot of other people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy meeting new people? Yeah. So since you said you enjoyed the posing, did you have one favorite pose that you really liked? Yeah. What was that? The folding pose. The folding pose? Yeah. Folding your hands or your legs or everything? Your hands. Your hands? How, like, like that? Yeah. Just crossing your hands? Yeah. Okay. Can you show us what you mean by that? Yeah. That is so cute. So now we truly know why he's Little Mr. Exquisite New Zealand 2023. We wish you all the best for all your future pageants and... Definitely you are a title winner. Yeah. I'm here with Little Miss Exquisite New Zealand 2023 from the age groups 3 to 8. The title winner, Miss Naira. Hello. Hello. So how are you today? I'm feeling very good. You look you. very nice. I love your whole sparkly outfit. Thank you. <laughs> so how did it feel winning this title? I felt like very, very happy winning the title winner, but... At first, I did not even know I won, mm -hmm. but then after my mom told me, and I was like, what? I won? Like surprised? Yeah, like very surprised mm -hmm. and stuff. So I was like, crazy. I won or did I win? And I was like so happy. Mm -hmm. like, did you expect you'd win it? No, I did not expect Oh, really? It. Like, yeah. I thought I would like just get one tight title uh -huh. and that's it or no title. So what was your favorite part in this entire pageant? Well, that's a tricky question. Mm -hmm. Take your time. We've got all the time in the world. <laughs> so in the first one, like the first thing, mm -hmm. the black outfit, I just, when I dropped the coat, it was like oversized coat, my mom's coat. Uh -huh. I dropped it and that felt very good and stuff. But mm, I can't compare it with the last one, the evening wear. Mm -hmm. Those two were equally good. I can't compare. Like, I like the whole show, so it's okay. very tricky. I just like the whole show. Okay, so, but would you say the, the first round and the final round were, like, your favorite? Yeah, mm -hmm. like, those were my favorite part. Okay, so how did you feel winning this title? Winning this title, when I knew about it, it was a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I was so pleased and so grateful. Yeah. And... I just love this opportunity. It was an amazing opportunity for this thing, mm -hmm. for the pageant. And I just like loved it. When I was walking, I just loved it. So how did it feel when the crown was placed on your head? <laughs> Let's see. I was happy, but I did not know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I felt like it was a simple title, simple, simple title. But I, but I felt good being the only one wearing two crowns. Two crowns? Only one, yeah. So what was the other crown? The other crown was Little Miss Influencer. Okay. 
So I felt really, really happy being the only one having two crowns. So how do you feel when you won Little Miss Influencer? Because it's quite a big title. I felt good. Like I was the first one called, like the first oh, one. Oh, okay. So I was like, what? Because I was sitting on the stairs and I was like, maybe we should move for the people to come. But that did not happen. Mm -hmm. I could stay because I was the one coming down. So it was very surprising to be the first one and being the exquisite. Mm -hmm. so it was very happy. I was very happy. So yeah. Well, that's great. And we wish you all the very best for all your pageants. And hopefully you get up more titles. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Mrs. Exquisite New Zealand, the 2023 title winner, Deepthi. Hello. Hi. It truly was very nice to see how they felt winning these titles. And Rosemary definitely did put on an amazing show. On that note, keep an eye out on Sevens TV for more such exciting episodes. Until next time, this is Barthi, signing out. <laughs>